whatever you don't use you lose lack of use causes loss on this planet maybe not the next one but on this one if you tie your arm to your body leave it there long enough you'll never use it again it's over for the arm now it may not be over but it's over for the arm the only way to keep the use of this arm is what keep using it if you quit you lose automatically they don't bring it up for a vote you lose automatically when you quit now the same thing that goes for your arm goes for your brain mentality the same thing goes for all the human virtues ambition unused declines strong feelings unused diminish it doesn't grow it diminishes faith unused decreases it's a law vitality unused diminishes energy unused decreases the guy says well I'm gonna save up my energy you can't do that that's like trying to save today put it on the end of the year see you can't do that they'll come take you away if you don't use today what it's lost the guy says well I'll work twice as our tomorrow to make up for it see that's foolish you could have done that anyway today unused is lost a talent unused is lost and ability unused is lost so here's one of the key expressions of the evening take a new inventory of yourself starting tomorrow new project take a new inventory and make sure that all of your talent and ability and mentality and ingenuity and vitality and strong feelings faith courage make sure that all you've got being used otherwise you lose now one of the best illustrations of the law of use is a Bible story called the parable of the talents the talent story interesting story if you haven't read it in a while just review it it's a good story an ancient story it says there was a master with three servants he got them together one day and he said to the three I've got these talents and in those ancient days the talent was a measure of gold and he said to the three servants take these talents and see what you can do with them while I'm gone he said I'm taking a journey and I'll be gone for a while when I come back we'll get together go over the book see how you did he said here's five of these talents for you five here's two of them for you two and here's one for you one the master said take those talents see what you can do with them when I come back we'll get together we'll go over it all the servant said okay master takes off according to the ancient story the master comes back from his trip when he gets back he gets the three servants together and as he said he would he asks how did it go with those talents you're five what happened that servant said well I took the five talents you gave me and I put them to work a little shaky at first but he said things finally got rolling and he said I poured it on and he said my talents grew to seven fold eight nine ten he said I doubled my talents from five to ten books will show master said one heck of a job or something like that he said I gave you two talents what happened that servant said about the same thing happened to me I put those two talents to work poured it on they grew to three and then to four he said I doubled my talents from two to four books will show master said well done he said I gave you one talent what happened that servant said well I took the talent you gave me and I carefully wrapped it and I dug a hole and buried it and camouflaged it I suppose so nobody would steal it and he said fortunately nobody got it and he said I knew you were going to be here today so I dug it up here it is safely wrapped I did not lose it while you were gone according to the ancient story the master said take that talent away from him and give it to the man that's got ten now you might say well I don't like that arrangement the poor guy's only got one talent he's already got ten it ought to be more even remember I didn't ask you to like it but this one I would ask you to learn because it simply means whatever you do not employ you forfeit it's a law so learn well the law of use and now I'd like to leave you with these four questions called questions to ponder these questions were valuable for me and I want to make them valuable for you 
Here's the first one. Why? We all ask why we should work this hard. Why take that many classes? Why go to school that many years? You know, why take the notes? Why read the books? Why work that hard? Why put yourself through the push-ups and the disciplines? Why? Good question. Why? Best answer to why, I think, is the second question. Why not? Why not? See how many books you can read, how many classes you can take, how many skills you can develop. Why not? See how valuable you can become to the marketplace and to your friends and to your family. Why not? See what you can make of yourself. Why not? See how far you can go, how much you can see, how much you can earn, how much you can share. Why not? That's the heritage all of us have in America, especially, is to see what we can make out of our lives now that we've been given this extraordinary opportunity. Now, my third question I'd love to ask you in person, but since I can't do it in person, I want to ask it of all of you, but I want you to take it personally. And my third question is why not you? Why not you with good self-esteem? Why not you starting to change and setting goals? Why not you starting to make progress toward financial independence? If I can do it, you can do it. I wished I had a lot more testimonials here today besides mine, a whole steady stream that would come by and tell you their story. Someone who started with nothing finally run a big enterprise, a mother who was on welfare. Now she owns her own business. In addition to my story, I wish I had a lot more. And if all of them told their story, guess how they would probably wind up their story? They'd probably say, just like me, why not you? If we can read, you can read. If we can change, you can change. If we can figure it out, you can figure it out. If we can turn it around, you can turn it around. There isn't anything you can't accomplish. That's what those testimonials would say. And so I want to say it to you personally. Why not you? You've got the brains, you've got the, the stamina, you've got the vitality, you've got the interest, you've got your life ahead of you, you've got the future, you can do it. If anybody can do it, you can do it. If one of us can do it, hey, we all can do it. And now, here's my last question. Why not now? This is a good time as the 20th century starts to wind down. Few more years as we get ready for century 21. What a good time to set your goals. Work on yourself, work on your skills. What a good time to get it together. What a good time to start this process. Personal development, growing, changing, developing, having a good plan for your money and for your life and for your future. Why not now? And I hope I have a chance to see you one of these days and share with you the experience, the reaction response you might have had from my message today. And until I get a chance to see you on this side of the world or the other side of the world in some school or some seminar, or maybe I'll come and speak for a company that you work for. Someday, I hope I get a chance to meet you. Until then, I wish you the best. I want all that I've gotten to be yours and much, much more. God bless. Goodbye.